Hi guys, Archie Luxury, and who do I recommend in America? In America, who do I recommend for quality pre-owned wristwatches? David SW, David SW, David SW. Go to davidsw.com. He is the best, the greatest pre-owned dealer in all of the United States of America. David SW, David SW, David SW. Hi guys, Archie Luxury on the Archie Luxury channel. And today guys, I just wanted to make a video about the death of Australian soap star, soapy, soap opera star. And uh, it's it was a pretty, pretty sad, sad uh, announcement. Dieter Brummer, Dieter Brummer. May not know the name Dieter Brummer, but it was uh, Shane Parrish from Home and Away, Summer Bay, Yabby Creek. Um, and basically, he, he was a, a heart throb, heart throb who um, appears to have committed suicide and he's died at the age of 45. Um, very played the role of Shane Parrish, which what, Shane. Parish, and he married Angel, Angel Melissa George, who's gone on to be a successful actress, 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 actress. So he, he was, uh, uh, he was was on this program. He he went on the program when he was fifteen. Started off as a fifteen-year-old, and uh, unfortunately, he's. Uh, He's, 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 it appears that he's, he's ended his, his own life there, which is really, really quite, quite sad. It's, it's, it's very sad, um, especially when you consider he, he won things like all the, the, the girls' fashion magazines, Dolly, and that their most, or Cleo, most eligible bachelor, you know, sexy, sexy man, and it's, it's kind of, um, it's kind of so strange that he was started off on Home and Away in 1992, and he left the series in 1996. Uh, I'll put some links down below from some press articles, and I'll put some links at the top to some Home and Away footage, so you can see who he was. And I got to tell you, it's, it's a sad thing. He basically went into the entertainment business as a 15-year-old. And it's a bit like on a parallel with the Marco and Tim on the Archie Luxury live stream. I'll put a link up to the Archie Luxury live stream channel. Because the same thing can happen there. They get carried away with fame. They've had fame very easily. I mean, I've been plugging it. YouTube since 2009 and I can kind of you know I, I'm a bit skeptical cynical that's part of the reality of being in this business for as long as I have but these new new blood comes in Marco Tim uh, JJ's you know JJ's he, 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 he he's kind of a uh, he's just doing it for, 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 for shits and giggles but and I got to tell you guys, it's very, very scary. It's scary what can happen. It's sort of this fame, these, and this is this terrible thing about the entertainment industry. For a lot of people, they have instant success. <clears throat> instant success. They suddenly, everybody loves them. Everybody can't, no, but the, the community can't get enough of them. And they go there for a while. So... In, in the case of Shane, I mean, uh, Dieter Brummer, he entered the industry at 15. Massive success, massive star. Uh, obviously, you know, he was just learning acting, but he, he, he took it seriously and he, he did very well. And unfortunately, in this industry there, um, the industry can spit you out very quickly, very quickly. And it's a bit like the child actors, you know. You look back at Gary Coleman, uh, Webster, 
Um, uh, where's that? What's her name? What's her name? Punky Brewster. Punky Brewster. And what happens is the industry loves you young. It's like a little puppy. But when it grows to a full dog, they don't want it anymore. It's a bit like the lion cubs. You know, when it's a little lion, it's cute. When it's a tiger or a big, big, big animal that eats people, it's not so, not so cool anymore. And I got to tell you, the industry, I mean, can you blame the industry? I don't think it's the industry's fault. But... You know, in the same token, the industry doesn't have a career path. It's fame, you're earning fortune. Well, when I say fortune, it's relatively high money when you're a working actor. But a lot of, most majority of actors are unemployed. Um, it, then it can turn very, very nasty. And look at, look, look at, look at Dieter Brummer's situation. So, so he was a heartthrob, 15. So, okay, so, so 15 to 20. Yeah, just, oh my God, he had unlimited girls. He'd have... He'd cool guy. Everyone wants to be your friend. He gets into his 20s. He does a bit more acting. He does a few things. He's got money. Got money. Money, 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 money solves a lot of problems. But he doesn't really know financially wise things to do with his money. I'm, I'm, I'm only speculating. I'm only speculating. And very hard to get back in the industry. And even though you've may have improved your acting skills, method acting like I, I've done, very hard to get a career out of it. Tit bits, bit parts, this and that. And, and he did some good things. He was in Blue Healers. He was in Underbelly. He, he was, he was a, quite a recognised actor. But the industry, you're not going to get the massive fame he had before. They wanted the young teen heartthrob. There's a new replacement. And so you look at it. In his 20s, he would have been cool as shit. In his 30s, okay, he's trying to, he's getting a few roles. The money's, the big fortune he's made probably all been spent. He's still cool. You get the invites to the parties. Then he was 45 when he committed suicide, or well, apparent suicide. You think about it, 30s, late 30s, no one really wants you, you're getting old, you're not the sexy hunk anymore, you're a middle-aged man. The part of Alf Stewart's already been taken. Ray, what's his name, has got that for, uh, you know, hook, line and sinker. You're in your 40s, I mean, no longer are you dating A-list celebrities. No, the only... Women who want you are the size of a bus who are named Margaret from Mount Druitt with four kids from three different fathers. That's the reality. And I believe he was living back home with his parents, which, I mean, what a disaster. I mean, this was, a, this was Shane Parrish. He married Angel. He was on Summer Bay. Couldn't he have spoken to Mr. Fisher? Mr. Fisher would have spoke, would have helped him out. And I, I got to tell you, it's interesting. Uh, his, apparently his, 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 um, they were a pair, romantic pair. Melissa George was very ambitious. She kind of, to be completely honest with you, she was criticized in an interview for sort of, uh, saying she doesn't need help from her home country, but she probably had her head screwed on a bit smarter than Dieter. Dieter kind of a laid-back guy. He took his acting seriously. He was a reasonable actor. I, I never really liked the dude, okay? He was kind of a bit of a smart-ass. He had one earring. Just pissed me off. Completely pissed me off, this dude. But it's very, in the same token, in his death, I feel really sorry for him because... There's a lot of careers that you can have when you're 40s to 50s, nobody wants you. Nobody wants you. For example, IT, IT, information technology. Guess what? IT, a 48-year-old man in IT is a 58-year-old man in any other industry. They want young guns. 
Why? Young guns are cheaper. Young guns don't bitch about doing free overtime. Young guns don't whinge about the terrible conditions and pay and young guns. They want young guns. And there's a lot of other industries. Look at look at me. So I was in IT. I never really, I was lukewarm career. I had some good jobs with KBR. I turned down a job in Papua New Guinea, which would have set me up for life because my wife, just got into nursing and I, I wanted her career to, 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 to get a, a hold there. Uh, but I've got to tell you honestly, um, what do I do? I've been out of the industry now for seven years. I've been full time on YouTube seven years. What do I do if my YouTube career ended, just, just hypothetically? What do I do then? I, could I go back to IT? What? You haven't worked for a company for seven years? You joking? Uh, you know, I'd have to be doing delivering pizza and driving Uber. Nothing wrong with driving pizza, driving Uber and delivering pizza. But you know, it, it, you at the you, you're a smart guy. You 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 kind of you're kind of supposed to be the senior. There's only so many senior manager roles. And that's the whole thing. It is really sad. It's really sad. And he's died. The poor guy has died. And um, so he died on Saturday, 24th of July. It's Australian time. Uh, Australian actor's death is not being treated as suspicious. Former actor in Home and Away died at 45. He's an Australian star, became a household name in the 90s for playing Shane Parrish in the soap opera Home and Away. Uh, it's it's kind of sad. I mean, is it the industry's fault? Well, the industry paid him well, and they never made... Pro well, the, the industry kind of is the industry. I mean, you've got to run with it. You get opportunities and say, well... It may not go on forever. Keep your money, stack it away. Don't believe your own PR bullshit. And um, yeah, that's kind of how it works, I'm afraid. So in, in many ways there, I've got to... Um, in, in many ways there, it's incredibly sad. Young guy, 45, not, it's younger than me. Three years younger than me. Um... He, what what pain was this guy going through? Um, what he was in five hundred and fifty seven episodes. Man, that's that's uh, pretty damn amazing. He was a hugely popular heartthrob in the coastal drama in the nineties. Yes, siree. Um, yeah, I. Um, incredibly sad, incredibly sad. And I mean, he went from being one of the sexiest, you know, on the sexiest lists in Australia to being the only people interested in was Margaret from Mount Druitt. I mean, that's a bit of a come down, bit of a come down. Well, that's life. I mean, hey, we, we, can't all stay stars, can we? I think the television industry is particularly cutthroat. You know, it, it's 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 there's it, it's limited roles, particularly with the new YouTube. Well, see, he could have done things. He could have gone on YouTube. He could have done his own thing and done this because he was a bit of an abseiler. He used to do window cleaning. He could make some great videos. He got to be a businessman. Melissa George, she was criticised for being a bit reptilian, but hey, maybe Melissa George's reptilian nature is what you need. You need a tough skin to survive in this industry. But uh, it's a sad thing. It's a sad, sad thing. And a lot of people, I mean, the problem is they just feel unwanted, unwanted, unloved in the community. Thankfully, I've got the watch community. I just hope, the reason I'm mentioning this story is it's, it's, I, it's, it just shocks me. I remember watching, okay, I admit, I watched Home and Away a bit, okay, yeah, it was a phase where I was watching it a bit. And he 
was kind of had everything world at his feet and now he's dead. I mean, what a disaster. Good looking guy. I didn't like his earring, okay? I didn't like his earring, but he, he was a good looking guy and man, he's dead. What tragedy. It just makes me think I'm, I'm seeing massive success from some young guns, Marco and Tim. What warning stops do I need to give them? What do I need to say? Hey, guys, this celebrity can end. I mean, they're the hottest commodity in the watch industry. I helped raise them. But the pontiff, you know, I've been a, I'm a seasoned player. So, um, guys, tell me what you think. Like, subscribe, tell your friends, put some comments below, and I will see you in the next one. Subscribe and tell your friends and don't be afraid to get a paid review. 50 US dollars for a paid review. It helps me stay full time on YouTube and I will see you in the next one. 50 US dollars paid review. I can't survive on Google Ads. I need your support. And guys, you could also sponsor me on Patreon. Patreon allows you to pay as little as a dollar a month to keep me on YouTube. Hey guys, Archie Luxury, who do I recommend for watches in Brisbane and Sydney? Vintage Watch Co, that's correct. Vintage Watch Co in Brisbane Arcade in Brisbane and the Strand Arcade in Sydney. Vintage Watch Co, Brisbane and Sydney. Ronnie, I've known him since the late 90s. Ronnie is a top bloke. Luke is a great guy. Vintage Watch Co. That is who I recommend in Australia. Check out Vintage Watch Co. and the guys' amazing range of watches. They also do service and repairs. Vintage Watch Co. That is where the pontiff goes. You know, some of my paddocks came from Vintage Watch Co. That's right, guys. Vintage Watch Co.